That's a sign to help you identify who the real Jews are. Who the real Israelites are. Because there's a people out there claiming they are Jews, but they are not. Give me Revelation chapter 2. Give me Revelation chapter 2. I want y'all to understand that the people claiming to be Jews are actually pretending to be you. They're pretending to be you. Read that. The book of Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. Uh -huh. I know thy works. God knows your works. He knows the things that you suffered for the good and the things that you suffered for the bad. Us being here in America, this is a jail. This is a prison sentence for us. Because we broke God's commandments. Read. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. You know why we rich? Because the kingdom of heaven that's to come, the Christian pastor's been preaching us for years, that they've been lying about, but the Bible really prophesies of. We rich because we are the ones that that, that kingdom of heaven is being created for. We are rich. We are going to inhabit and rule that kingdom. Read. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. They say they are Jews and are not. How do you know those people over in Israel are not the real Jews? I'll give you a hint. We just read it. I'll give you another hint. I'm pointing at it. The Bible says that the curses would be what? They would be just like the golden arches, which is a what? A sign. Did the people over there in, in Jerusalem, did they go to Jerusalem by a ship? Were they brought over to Jerusalem as slaves? No, they were not. So that means that the signs don't apply to them. That means they're not the real Jews. They are pretending to be you. They are in the land that you fled from. They are in the land that you're going to return to one day when Christ returns. Christ is going to take you back. But before Christ takes you back, uh, Matthew 4 and verse 17 again. This is what we must do. This is what we must do because remember we went into slavery by way of ship because we did not do all of the commandments. Right. Read this. The book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 17. Uh -huh. From that time Jesus began to preach and to say repent. Do what? Repent uh -huh. for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Who wants the kingdom of heaven? Raise your hand. Y'all want? Sure, I want? I want the kingdom of heaven. Right. But the Bible says in order for us to get the kingdom of heaven what must we do? What was that first word? Repent. It was what? It was what? It was repent. Now let me show you what it means to repent. Go back to Ezekiel chapter 18. Give me Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 30. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 30 to show you what it means to repent. We all got stuff that we got to repent from. We've all had stuff that we were doing in the past that we got to turn away from and start doing something else. All right? Read that again. Ezekiel chapter 18 and verse 30. Uh -huh. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. You are the house of Israel. And God says that he will judge you. He will judge you. You know You know the proof that you would judge? What's your last name? Forbes. Forbes? What about you? Waller. Waller. Duck. Duck. All those names come from your slave master that look just like that guy right there. That's how you know that you've been judged for your sins. Because during these times, you didn't walk around with a name of a nation that was created to wipe the dust off of your boots. Teach. That's the only reason that he was created. To clean my boots up. To wipe my toilet down when it get a little messy. To cut my grass and put a good edge on it. That's why he was created. But because you broke God's laws, now you cut the grass. Now you the janitor. Now you work as the mechanic for the industries that he creates and he runs. While he sits up on the top and enjoys the benefits of your labor. That's how you know that you've been judged for your sins. Because the Bible says that the so-called black man is supposed to be a god on this earth. That's right. And his woman is supposed to be right next to him as his spouse ruling with him. Right. Not as a baby mama, not as a girlfriend, right. not as a side piece, right. but as his spouse, as his joint heir in God's kingdom. Right. Read. Everyone according from the top. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. Uh -huh. Everyone according to his ways, saith the Lord God. Uh -huh. Repent. Do what? Repent. Y'all see that word? Christ said if we wanted the kingdom of heaven, we would have to do what? Repent. We would have to do what? Repent. We have to do what? Repent. And do what? And turn yourselves from all your transgressions. So in order to repent, that means that you have to turn yourself from your transgressions. Right. Now, how do you learn what your transgressions are? 
You don't know it? Alright, we're gonna show you. Give me first John chapter 3, verse 4. Excellent question, my sister. Now, excellent question. Now, in the Christian church, how many opportunities do you get to say, Pastor, I don't know what that means. Can you explain that again? Can you say that a different way? I'm not really following you. Have you ever been able to do that? You? You? But you stepping up to brothers with the Bible and we're welcoming your questions. Th doesn't that say something to you? Hold up, hold up. All this time I've been seeing somebody holding the Bible. I ain't never been able to ask a follow-up question. That's right. I ain't never. All I've been able to say is, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm, amen, uh, mm-hmm, how, how much I got to give this week, Pastor? All right. All right. Come on now, come on, you got to know a hustler when you see one, right. when you meet him in a way, you got to know exactly what you're experiencing, every time you go to church on Sunday, you get in a hustle, it's just a hustle, see? now sister asked an excellent question, she says, I don't know what that means, transgression, that's not a, that's not an SAT word, you know, right. Can you explain that to me? Sister, I'm going to use the Bible to answer your question. I'm not going to give you my own opinion. I'm going to let the Bible answer the question for you, all right? So we're going to explain what transgression means. Read. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Read. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. So the Bible says whosoever commits sin transgresses the law. I haven't explained transgression. I'm going to. Keep reading. For sin is the transgression of the law. For right. sin is the transgression of the law. So I'm, I'm going to get the dictionary out. Now transgress means to go against. Alright, so I'm going to type that in. You come over here with me. So you know I ain't making nothing up. Transgress. So I'm on the Merriam-Webster dictionary. Tra trans Transgress. Alright, you see that? Transgress. The, the definition of transgress means to violate a command or law. To go beyond a boundary or limit. You follow me? So when the scripture says that you've transgressed, it just means that you, you broke one of God's laws. Right. That's what sin Huh? That's what sin is. Yeah, and that's what sin is. Sin is you breaking one of God's laws. So I'm going to give you an example, all right? All right, I'm going to give you all an example. All right, go to Deuteronomy 22 and 11. I mean 22 and 5. Since the sister asked the question, what does it mean to transgress? I'm going to give you an example of a transgression or a sin or a breaking of God's law. All right? Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Verse 5. The woman. Call it. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the Bible says that a woman can't wear, so her attire can't be what pertains to men. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. And a man's attire can't be a woman's attire. Everybody following me so far? All right. So that means in layman's terms, easy words, no cross-dressing. Okay? Now, I'm going to make it more real for you, more plain. Our sisters never wore pants up until recently. Pants existed in the Bible. They were called breeches. Give me uh, Exodus 28. Give me verse 1. I think I want verse 42 or something like that. Pants existed in the Bible, but they were created for men. And they've always been for men. Let me show you something else real quick. Look right here. During the time of slavery, you too, brother. Kevin, right? Yeah. All right. So Kevin and... Didi. 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 You see that picture down there at the bottom? In the middle, uh-huh. You see all those sisters? What are they wearing? Dresses. So from the t thousands of years ago, thousands of years ago, our sisters wore dresses all the way up to the 18, 1900s. Our sisters wore dresses. And then somehow over the last couple of decades, the attire of a woman changed. Now, you probably wouldn't recognize it so much because probably since you were born, you probably wore your 30s or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, same as me, right? From the time I was born, women been wearing pants. But my grandmama, she still wear dresses even to this day. And my great grandmama never wore dress, never wore pants. All she wore was dresses. So this is a new thing in the earth for women to be wearing pants. Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter twenty-eight, verse one. Uh -huh. And take thou unto thee, Aaron, thy brother, uh -huh. and his sons with him. So Aaron, thy brother, a brothers are what? A male or a female? Yeah. A male. And unfortunately, you got to ask that question nowadays because all the lines getting blurred. You know what I mean? A brother is a male. He has a penis. Read. 
from among the children of Israel, uh -huh. that he may minister unto me in the priest's office, uh -huh. even Aaron, Nadab, and Ab Abihu, Eleazar, Ithamar, and Aaron's sons. And who? Aaron's sons. And your sons are males or females? Males, right? Now jump over to verse 42. Exodus chapter 28, verse 42. Uh -huh. And thou shalt make them linen breeches. What? Linen breeches. What's a breech? Pants. There you go. So pants were created for Aaron and who? His sons. The men. Pants existed in the Bible for the men. But you fast forward to 2022, and now you got sisters putting on women's pants. No such right. thing. No such thing. No such thing. So go back to Exodus Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and the 5. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What pertain to men during this time? Pants. So the Bible says that women can't wear pants. So remember I was giving you an example of a transgression. A transgression is a woman putting pants on. Because pants were created for men and the Bible says that women can't wear men's attire. And men can't wear women's attire. It would be a transgression for me to put on a what? A dress, right? And that, that's real simple to understand because the, the common everyday society, men don't wear dresses on the regular. You start to see it in the fashion and stuff now a little bit. You see Pharrell did it on GQ magazine. You see uh, R. Kelly did it. You see, uh, what's the uh, little soft Christian, Christian boy? Kirk Franklin. Yeah, Kirk Franklin did it. Uh, ASAP Rocky did it. Say what? Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook. So you start to see people do it, but it's like, it's like scattered every once in a while. But no matter where you look, you're gonna see a woman wearing pants. So what's that gonna do? That's gonna make you think what? That pants are what? Normal. That pants are normal for a woman to wear. But the Bible is gonna tell you what's normal to the Most High God. And that's the only person's opinion that we're concerned with. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how we men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.